Traveler Log 12253019. Date 28. So far, my cover at this academy has been successful, but I'm very well surprised by the amount of students who interrupt during the day, whether in or out of the office. This is partly due to this quirk of mine, but many are genuinely friendly and curious. Many of the girls here have been extremely attentive, and so I should be having due diligence in keeping my cover secret. I'm more than grateful that the few travelers in my team have been steering suspicions away as best as they can. Some of the charges here had almost caught any of us red-handed at some point. I've worked on many souls who are curious, but these students here are highly aware of their situations. Perhaps this is why the engineer had her concerns about this place. Then again, she had some concerns about me. I don't know what her issues are with me. Am I doing a good thing for the affinity? She is intelligent as she is eccentric. So I wouldn't blame anything that she would think of me on her thought processes alone. But, um... Maybe genius begets genius. She does dote on her apprentices more so than any other on the ship. Especially that young man for some time. Apologies. This isn't information required for the Affinity Almanac. <clears throat> Further analysis is required before I can make something concrete out of the situation. Forgive me. I didn't realize you were in the middle of taking important notes. Ida, how long have you been standing there for? Not very long. I am truly sorry to have interrupted you. Um, uh, I commend you on taking notes on your work here at the Academy. A nurse such as yourself would make a great doctor one day. <laughs> uh, now you're giving too much credit, Ida, but at least my methods are to your standards. Of course, it's always best to learn from everything you do. Similar to Midoriya. Oh, you're friends with the star pupil? Yes. I see. <clears throat> I stopped by to see how you were faring on campus. Were you asked by faculty? I thought to get a head start. As student president of the student council, it's my duty to ensure the well-being of students and teachers alike. <laughs> I'm not really a teacher here, Ida. But I commend you for your, uh, initiative. Still, as a member of the faculty, you are just as important. I'm doing very well here. Thank you for checking in on me, but despite our lovely tour of the Academy a few weeks ago, um, I believe you're due in for an appointment. Excuse me? I've recently spoken to Recovery Girl, and she believes that me as an acting nurse alongside her would alleviate any physical injuries or trauma by all of you, but also to act as a counsellor as well. That's a brilliant idea. Some students here may need some impartial perspectives. Exactly. Including yourself, student president. Oh, I'm perfectly fine. Devotion to family, dedication to studies, and a stint leaving you injured on your right. Specifically the right wrist. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Recovery Girl and your homeroom teacher told me. I know that I could never heal what has been done, but if you need any relief, should there be any discomfort, please don't hesitate to come by. Um, thank you for the offer. My door is always open. I do have something to ask. What is it? It's strange that you arrived shortly before new students were introduced and inducted into the academy. It's fairly odd to have anyone be allowed halfway through the last year. Is it? 
I call it serendipitous circumstance. It couldn't have been by chance. And why not? Some things we can't explain, or analyze, or deduce. Yet we have a belief in many things. I'm not being religious. I mean, a person could have faith in one small thing, like a tune, or a voice. I think we all came at the right time. Did I ruin it for you? No. Just confused me a bit. I have that effect on people sometimes. Hmm. I seem to find people like that. Oh? Yes. Traveler from support is just as convoluted. Hmm. You mean the one who's been hanging around you lately? I've only seen it every now and then during your lunch breaks. But they seem smitten on you. They just... Uh, their mind seems to bounce off of everything and anything. I can't keep up with that kind of manic thinking. Learning more about you, Ida, you're so used to being so orderly and prompt. Few things that I do love personally, but a little chaos can help make a dull day brighter. It's a balancing act. Keep you on your toes, really. No pun intended, I mean. No, I understand. I've grown some patience for it, and they do have outrageous but sound ideas about improving my quirk. I'm glad to hear it's that, and not a growing tolerance instead. It could be that. Strange. It's so easy to talk to you. Again, I seem to have that effect. Oh, hey, Ida. Ah. Let's see, um, Kirishima? Yep. Brilliant. I'm sorry, Ida, but thank you for checking in on me. My pleasure. I'll see you next week to follow up. Did Ida just ask for your experience here? Of course. Thank you for pre-warning me about his mannerisms over the course of this month. No problem. The guy could use a break himself. <laughs> Come in. Although I do have a question that I wanted to avoid with Ida. Uh, yeah? Where exactly is the teacher's lounge? <laughs>